Earlier, you built this API for managing products. Now, as your exercise, I want you to use what you have learned in this section to store these products in our database. It shouldn't take more than 10 minutes. So pause the video, work on it, and then come back see my solution. All right, first we should go to our Prisma schema and define a new model. So here we add a new model called product with three properties, ID, which is an integer. It's an ID field with a default value of auto increment. Then we add name of type string and price of type. For this, we're gonna use float. I didn't cover this before, but with float, we can store numbers with a decimal point. So this is our product model. Now we go in the terminal and run npx prisma format. So our code is beautifully formatted, lovely. Next, we create a migration to bring our database up to date. So npx prisma migrate dev. We give the new migration a name like create product. Good. Now, if we check our database, we should have a new table for storing our products. There you go. Here's our table with these three columns. Lovely. Now, back to our API. On the top, first we import Prisma. Now in the get function, we call Prisma that product that find many. We await the call to get our products and then return the result in the response, products. Now let's make this async. Now similarly for our post function, first we validate the request. If we have a validation error, we return it. Otherwise, we call Prisma dot product dot create. Here we set data to an object. In this object, we set name to body.name and price to body.price. Good. So we call create and await the call to get the new product. And finally, we return it to the client. As simple as that. New product. Now let's test this real quick. So back in Postman, let's send a post request to API slash product. And here in the body, we include the name, which we can set to milk, and price, which we can set to two and a half dollars. Take a look. So we send this. We got an internal server error, so I should have made a mistake. So back in the terminal, look, we have an error saying, cannot read properties of undefined, reading create. I'm not sure what is going on here, so let me restart the development server and call this API one more time. All right, beautiful, it was created. So it was a temporary issue with the cache. 